Hello Aquarius viewers. I'm going to take a look into your situation, see what's going on. All right, so this could be an ex, could be a new person in, coming in. I know the last video I did, I was getting um, like a shy, sweet, secret admirer type energy, and then I was also getting a toxic ex. So it seemed like there was some kind of love triangle going on. Um, for all of you, it might not be physical. It might be like your ex is, like it, a lot of it happens like astrally, like energetically, like maybe your ex is thinking about coming back around. Um but there's just some kind of energy where you're going to have to be making a choice in the future. So let's see what's going on with that now. I'm actually going to use these cards instead. Okay, so for Aquarius viewers, what is going on? What is the situation regarding love? Please be very specific and forward. What is the situation regarding love right now? What is the situation regarding love? wishing high priestess of air movement yeah somebody's feeling it could be the secret admirer somebody's feeling kind of invisible or it could be an ex it could be the toxic ex that you're letting go of too um so yeah someone's conflicted still i think someone's still having a hard time figuring out um if they have a chance with you or not because we've got, see here we have wishing, we have high priestess of air, movement, invisible, beauty, the warrior, and then high priestess of fire. See, I think, okay, somebody is like dreaming about you, like they're wishing, they're, see this is like a very dream-like energy. Somebody's, like they're wanting that chance with you, they're wishing, they're, I think she's actually by a wishing well, yeah, she's, he or she is just, you know, they're dreaming about you, they're wishing, they're wanting this chance, they're wanting this, this start with you, um, and they're probably really afraid of rejection, you know, because if somebody really has feelings for you like that, they're going to be kind of scared of coming forward because they don't want to, they don't want to lose what you guys have, or they just... I just sense like a nervousness and fear. Like maybe they think you're out of their league too because they do see you as really beautiful and they feel kind of invisible compared to you. Like they feel like you're kind of, if you like this person, this per I get like a very shy, sweet, kind of nerdy energy from this person. Um, I, I, yeah, I do feel like they see you as above them. They see you as very seductive and very beautiful and very interesting and I think that there's this insecurity and fear that they're not going to have enough to offer you or that they're not going to um, have a chance with you. You know, there's this part of them. I think they fight themselves. I think part of them feels like you're just a little bit out of their league. With the high priestess of air, though, you know, air is all about communication. So they are trying to to get out of this dreamlike energy where they're just dreaming about you and wishing and thinking about what it could be like. They're trying to move past this energy and actually come forward and communicate. And, you know, with, with air and, and movement here, this is about forward communication, honesty, confessing their feelings, moving forward. But it's kind of like the same. It's similar energy to what you got in the last reading where they're they want more certainty. They're just, they're afraid of the rejection. That fear is still kind of holding them back. That nervousness, like, why would he or she like me? Why would they, they could have anybody. Why would they want me? Um, it's, it's, yeah, it's that kind of energy where they just, could be a coworker. Hmm. Because I get the energy of somebody who, like, watches you. Like, they watch the way, if you're a man, then they, like, watch, like, the way you dress or they watch, like, how you do your hair or, like, or female, you know, they're watching the way you're doing your makeup. Um, they're watching the way your, uh, like, your movements, your mannerisms, your smile, just little things like that that they really notice about you. Like, they really notice your natural beauty and charm. Like, they just, they notice these things about you. I guess it could be somebody on social media. Like, if you're posting selfies and stuff, maybe somebody that's, like, checking your pictures out. Um, but I just get this, like, 
that they see you as graceful, like they see you as it's like the way that you walk or like your voice, your just your natural energy, your natural charisma just really draws them in. You they just feel like they feel like even if they notice how you do your makeup, they're they're still no it's it's almost like they feel like you have a very natural beauty. It's like you have this like fairy like kind of charm, you know what I mean? And they really they sense that about you, just the, the, this gracefulness that they, they love about you. So they're trying to move forward. But I'm feeling like they still, I mean, with the invisible card here, they still feel like, uh, for some of them, I feel almost like they start to move forward and they start to try to make a move on you. And then they're like, oh my God, I'm like a frog compared to this person. Look how beautiful he or she is. Look how look how charming they are look how they can have anyone they want look how funny they are look how um loving they are like look how down to earth they are like why would they want me you know it's like that kind of energy so for some of them it's like they start moving forward and then when they're about to make a move on you or they're about to tell you how they feel they just like stop themselves and they're like they start feeling invisible they get in their head too much and they get insecure and they're like no why would this person want me for others, I feel like maybe this person did come forward, but maybe like they were trying to flirt and you didn't understand that they were flirting. Um, it's interesting. I got really similar energy for Gemini's too. So it's like, I think all you air signs are kind of um, in this this energy right now where there's there's a lot of, you're very seductive. All you guys, all you air signs are very seductive right now. You're drawing love to you right now. You guys are just magnets for love right now. Um, it's, it's really, it's a beautiful energy that you guys have right now. It really is. This person could also be a fire sign because I noticed the fire sign card here too. But for a lot of you, it's, it's, it might not necessarily be for some of you, it's probably just saying like you're, you're, you know, you're fire to them. You're passionate, you're charming, you're charismatic, you're, you're everything, you know, like you just have this strong, powerful energy. Like they see you as like the empress or like the high priestess, you know what I mean? Like they just see you as like just a queen, like you're just like, or a king, however it plays out for you, but they just see you as above them. So yeah, sorry not to get too off, off track, but anyway, so, so yeah, they feel invisible. It's like they, they start coming forward and then they, they overthink it and they get in their head and they block themselves and then they're like, they're just so scared of rejection. They're so scared of getting hurt. They're so like shy and socially awkward and they don't, they don't know how to talk to you. I don't think, I think they just don't know what to say. Um, and again, they see you as above them. They feel like you're too good for them. <laughs> for others, I feel like maybe some of them did actually make some move. Like maybe that they did actually say or do something, but maybe they're just so awkward that it's like you didn't know they were flirting or maybe they like, made such a small gesture that you couldn't tell they were flirting. Like maybe they said something. And with this energy, it's almost like they would have like overthought it. Like they would have said something so small to you. So like insignificant that doesn't seem like anything, but they probably would have like planned it out. Like they would have planned what to say to you, you know? But I'm wondering if like, yeah, maybe some of them did make some small gesture and you just, they felt like invisible though. Like you, you made them feel invisible, but you didn't mean to make them feel invisible. It's like, they just weren't forward enough. They weren't, they took a little baby step. And then when you didn't understand that they were flirting, it's like, they felt like invisible. Like, oh, they brought, like, they went back to their insecurity. Like, oh, this person probably doesn't want me, blah, blah, blah. They're too beautiful for me. <laughs> it's that kind of energy where it's like, they need to, this person's very sweet. Like, this person has a really good energy. They do need to be a little bit... They need some more masculine energy, though. They need to be a little bit stronger because they're, they're shy and they're sweet and they're nerdy, but they need to be a little bit braver, you know? And they are, they're trying to. You just... You really intimidate them. Your, your beauty and your, your energy is really... Like, I think, I think it's almost like they have this mentality, which, you know, a lot of us, like, I'm super nerdy, so I get that too. I have that same mentality sometimes where it's, like, almost better to dream than lose, you know what I mean? This would be somebody like that who would kind of, like, probably watch, like, fantasy shows and movies and almost, like, live in another world inside their head um, and to some extent where it's almost, like, 
if they're dreaming about you and they're having this like fantasy relationship with you and thinking what it could be like, they don't want to risk coming forward and having you reject them and then losing that. You know what I mean? Because it's bringing them so much happiness to fantasize about you and to dream about you and to think about what it could be like. And so they don't want to like come forward and have you reject them because then they lose that fantasy. They lose that dream. Um, they lose, it's like this, this beautiful world that they've created with you inside their head and they're wanting to make that a physical reality, but they're also afraid at the same time that if they do, if they try and they get rejected, they're going to lose everything. They're going to lose that fantasy too, you know? And so that's where that fear comes in. Um, again, they just see you as very beautiful, but they are, see, they are trying to get in this warrior energy, I think. They need to. They need to get... I mean, it's a beautiful energy they're in, but they do need to also take the steps to make this real in the physical world. So I think with this this warrior energy here... I'm wondering if this is a fire sign. Could be like a damaged fire sign that maybe has like a strong masculine side deep down, but they've kind of like suppressed it maybe because they've been through a lot and they're scared of getting hurt. It could be something like that. But they are, yeah, I do I do get that they are though. They are they are trying to come for it. They really are. Let's see if I can get just a few more clarification cards. Just anything else you want to add to this reading? Anything else you want to say here about this? I feel like we have deception and hidden desires here. So I feel like with deception, I feel like they've been deceived in the past. There could also be lies and gossip that have been spread about you. Like maybe there's people that are kind of jealous. Because if, if you're like a coworker, if you're, this is at work, that would actually make sense. Because I'm seeing a movie theater and I used to work at a movie theater. So I'm like, I'm always drawn back to that. I'm like, well, that's interesting. I don't know if that's that like, if that means anything to you guys. Maybe it's just for like, probably just usually when I get something that specific, it's just for like one or two of you. Um, but there is that energy there. It's, it's interesting with deception though. Yeah. I feel like either there was lies and gossip like spread about you possibly. And maybe they feel like they know you well, but maybe there's like people around you that are jealous of you and trying to bring you down. And so this person is kind of afraid. Like what if those, what if the rumors are true? What if this person really, you know what I mean? Like maybe they're just kind of in their head about that for others. I think it's just saying like with deception that this person was deceived in the past a lot like they were hurt a lot they were used they were like the good guy or the good girl that gets walked all over like the boy next door girl next door type um that just gets kind of used as like a tool for um manipulative people from by manipulative people so they're they're still healing from that they have some shadow work to do some some purging to do you know it says here the path to wholeness requires introspection honesty and vulnerability but their guides are coming through here with a sacred gift. This is divine intervention, divine love and support, you know, giving and receiving high vibrational healing energy. And so I think that their guides are coming through and trying to lead them through this and help them with this and help them get out of and help them heal, help them let, you know, cut ties with their past, cut ties with the pain and all the things that they've been through in the past, help them do the shadow work, help them purge, help them do the cut and clear work. Um, you know, they have like angelic guidance and maybe guidance from gods and goddesses too. They have, this person has a really good heart. So they do have a lot of, um, you know, a lot of guides and a lot of, uh, you know, spirit guides and, and people, um, and just spirit, spirit, maybe like, they maybe have like a grandmother too. For some of them, they have like a grandmother spirit that's around them, I think. And a lot of them have, yeah, they just, they have guides that like see them as like this pure, innocent being, which they are. They're very, they, they you know, like I said, they have a good heart. Um, so their guides are trying to heal them gently. They're trying to push them. They're trying to, there's just this divine love and support and intervention um, where they're just, yeah, they're, they're just really trying to, what does this want to say? Okay. 
this king of pentacles so they're trying to get them in the king of pentacles energy where they're a little bit more grounded a little bit more strong um but yeah they see them as like they're like they're, this person's spirit guides see them as like their little baby <laughs> they see them as like this innocent little thing that they just want to protect from the world <laughs> but they're trying to get them to you know again with divine intervention they're like they're being gentle with this person they know they have to be gentle with this person this person doesn't take rejection well. They don't take harsh energy well. They're, this is more of a gentle soul that you're dealing with here. And their guides know that. So they're, they, there is divine intervention where they're like, okay, you need to do the shadow work. You need to let go of your past. You need to move on. But we're going to try to do it as gently as possible. You know, and that's typically how it is. They try to do it gently. But if you, if somebody like resists them, like if they're trying to push you out of a, a toxic situation or they're trying to push you to heal and you're not doing it, they'll push you harder and harder and harder. So they're pushing this person gently, but it will be, it's going to be a harder push if they don't listen. Um. But they are going through this energy shift. They are. They're having this breakthrough. They're having this this intense sudden change. You know, this energy is coming up quickly for them. This this divine love and divine support where they're they're also kind of trying to get them to be more courageous, you know, and that's part of healing too. Is if especially if this is a fire sign or if this is somebody who deep down has fire sign like energy, it's like maybe this person has just been so hurt and they're so damaged and they're so afraid of trusting people again. And so part of healing this person, part of, you know, this divine love and this divine support from this person's guides is, um, you know, when they heal that, they can get back in touch with that warrior fire sign energy more. They can get back in touch with that, that brave side of them that can come forward. Because right now it's just like this hidden desire. It's like, it's a secret. It's they're afraid of rejection. It's again, shy, secret admirer, hidden feelings, you know, watching you, observing you, but being afraid to talk to you and thinking that you're just out of their league, that you're just too beautiful and too good for them. But their guides are trying to get them to heal. They're trying to get them to reclaim that part of themselves that they lost. They're trying to get them to reclaim that warrior side, that fire energy, that passion, that um, that that zest for life. You know, this person could be like numb, maybe working a nine to five job, or just just tired, just scared. They're just very timid and very scared and very alone. And so their guides are really trying to push them to be their true selves again, to reclaim their power again, to heal and reclaim themselves. So that's where you're at with, I mean, that's where they're at. Um, yeah, let me know if this resonates. Uh, I mean, if this is your reading, it should resonate. You know, it's not for everybody. Just just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But um, but yeah, I love to hear from you guys. Comment below, um, share, subscribe if this resonates. I'll be doing these readings frequently. And if you'd like to book a private reading with me, my email address is below. Thank you guys for watching.